Hello students. This question, question number 19, which was asked in the GATE 2019 statistics related to the bivariate normal distribution and is of the one marks. How you can solve this question? It's a very again simple. What you can do is you can simply firstly take this as say y. y is nothing but my x1 plus x2. Then your target, so it means your required, you want to be here. What you can do is you can simply find the expected value of this y you can find the variance of dy that is nothing else are there. So what is the expected value of y? This is nothing but e of x1 plus e of x2. You always try to solve such kind of the question whenever they are asked about the probability in, in this manner. What is the expected value of the x1 and x2 are there? They are given to be 0. So the answer is my 0. Now you can find the variance of x1 plus x2. Now check whether they are independent. They are not independent. So we can write this term as variance of x1 plus variance of x2 plus 2 times covariance of x1, x2. Why? Because all of you know that what is the variance of the ax plus of by or ax1 plus bx2 is a square variance of x1 plus b square variance of x2 plus 2ab covariance of x1, x2. In this example, a is my 1, b is my 1. What is the variance of x1? They are same and they are equal to 1. So this is 1 plus 1, 2. What is the covariance? Again, it is not given to you. So but the co correlation coefficient is given to you. So we can find the covariance from the correlation coefficient divided by square root of the variance x1, variance of the x2. So this value, variance of x1 is 1, variance of x2 is 1. So what is the covariance is? Nothing but my rho. So what is that? This is 4 plus of this one. Now we can start from here. We will try to convert this into the z, x minus mean of the y and the standard deviation of the y. So what is that? I can write this as y minus mean. What is the mean is? If you subtract 0 on both sides, it will be 0. Now you can divide it by the square root of the variance, 4 by this. It is here again. So what is happen is? This is z is greater than 0. What is the answer of this? z greater than or equal to 0 is a 0.5 is the right answer of this problem. So that's a simple manner you have to do. You have to simply calculate the mean and the variance and then try to convert into the center limit theorem form. So that's the way you can solve this problem. We will see some more questions in of the GATE 2019 paper in our next video. Best of luck students, stay tuned.